Monkey, this artifact, it's not the cure. It's just a warning. It says sin is the disease. Monkey, my mother used to tell me about the sin. She said that Jesus was the cure, but I never listened to her. If only she was here to help me and explain this to me. If only somebody were here to help me. Dr. Livingston. Dave. Dr. Livingston. Dave. Dave. Dr. Livingston. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. Dave, if you're here to kill me, you might as well go ahead and do it because I've spent my entire time running from you. Searching for this artifact and it's no help. I failed. I have nothing left to live for. Dr. Livingston, your time has come. Dr. Livingston, your time has come to know the truth. But, but, Dave, this is a book. But, this is that book that you gave me at Walmart that had the, the bogus map to McDonald's in it. No, That's not at all what I was looking for, Dave. Although I will tell you that the Big Mac, Large Fry, and Dr. Pepper hit the spot. There, I really wanted a small vanilla cone, but the ice cream machine was broken. Yeah, typical. Yeah. But anyway, my point is, uh, that's not what I was looking for. You tried to send me on a wild goose chase. I did not. I was just trying to give you this Bible. I don't know anything about McDonald's. Nope. This book had a map to McDonald's in it. Don't you try to give me any baloney about spiritual guidance. You, number one, stole my wallet and car keys. I did not. Back in the Walmart parking lot, you dropped those trying to tear open a bag of trolley gummy worms. <laughs> These gummies. Ooh, there we go. I like the green ones. Well, actually that checks out. Although I must correct you, they were not trolley, they were great value. That 99 cent price tag gets me every time. But let me guess, I dropped my passport there as well. You actually did, but that was like 10 steps further when you're trying to rip open a bag of Doritos with your teeth. Ah. Well, that actually all makes sense, but what doesn't make sense is why the blazes are you out here chasing me through this infernal jungle? First of all, to give you your passport, Ooh, goody. your wallet, even better, and your car keys, all which you dropped in the Walmart parking lot. I think you did. But more importantly, to give you this. A Bible? Dave, are you some kind of homeless minister? No, I'm not. And why do you keep calling me Dave? My name's Tim. Oh, and Tim. I'm not even homeless. In fact, this beard's not even real. I just wear it to catch crumbs and <laughs> hashtag leftovers. Oh, that actually makes sense. But, uh, a Bible? Really, Dave? I mean, I mean, if I wanted reading material, I would have brought my Garfield comic strips. Love that cat. <laughs> me too. Anyway, no. Dave, I'm out here on serious business. I'm looking for an artifact that will uh, cure a man's greatest disease. So far, I haven't had a lot of luck, though. Um, all I've found is this parchment right here and uh, uh, let's see, um, this fork. That tastes like Little Debbie snack cake. Uh, first of all, that was my snack cake. Mm. And I... Totally put that fork in my mouth. That's disgusting. That is. But that's beside the point. Let me show you this Bible. Well, I never expected Daryl to be chasing me around just to give me a Bible. But I'm so glad he did. As he began to explain the love of Jesus Christ to me, I kept having flashbacks of my mother telling me the same thing. Tears began to stream down my face as I realized that everything my mother told me was true. As I heard the scripture being read to me there in the middle of the jungle, I realized that everything I've done in this life was for me and my own benefit. I finally understood that my life was corrupted by the very disease I had been searching for, a cure to fix. This disease of sin truly had infected all of mankind, including myself. As the scriptures were read to me, I realized they held the cure. The cure to man's sin is simply trusting in Jesus Christ as your savior and repenting of the sins that have infected your life. I wanted to have this life free of the awful disease to sin. There in the middle of nowhere, I knelt in the jungle and prayed for the first time since I was a child with my mother. Dear Heavenly Father, I know I don't deserve to come before you. All my life, I've ignored the things my mother told me about you. But I understand now. I understand that I'm infected with the disease of sin, and that the blood of Jesus Christ is the 
the only thing that can cure me of this disease and wash me clean. Oh, God, please come into my heart and save me. Save me from my sins that I may have a home in heaven when I die. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Richard. You know what now? You are a child of God. The Bible tells us that there was a man very much like you. His name was Saul. And he was plagued by the same disease of sin that you and I and everyone else in this world is infected with. And his name was changed whenever he got saved. It was changed from Saul to Paul. You should no longer be called Live in Sin. We should change your name to Live in Son because you are now a child of God. You, you know what? Live in Sin. That's rather catchy, Jim. I, I like it. I, you know what? I like it a lot. But now that I'm saved, what do I do? Well, this entire world is plagued and consumed by this disease of sin. The Bible tells us that our job as Christians is to go into the entire world and tell others of Jesus Christ. You know what, Leslie? You are exactly right. In fact, first thing tomorrow morning, me and Monkey, we're going to go back to England. We're going to fly over there and we're going to tell everybody. We're, we're going to right away. But what about you? You know what, Richard? I feel like God is calling me here to the natives of this jungle. I believe he wants me to tell them about this cure from the disease. In fact, time is running short. I should be leaving now. Well, tally-ho, Glenn. Godspeed. You know what, monkey? Who would have thought? Me, Dr. Richard Livingston. A scientist extraordinaire. A Christian. Wait, not Livingston. Livingston. Oh. Do I have to fill out a new social security? This is going to change my tax filing situation drastically. Uh, but anyway, he, he, he actually helped me out and, and he gave me my passport. Monkey? Monkey? Jeffrey stole my passport! Oh, never mind. Wrong pocket. <laughs> well, off we go. Well, I finally made my way out of the jungle and back into civilization. Gregory, on the other hand, stayed back in Mozambique as a missionary to the natives. We still keep in touch to this day, and he tells me hundreds of natives are coming to know Christ as their savior. Well, I took the first plane I could charter back to England and began to tell everyone I could find of this cure I had discovered. The first person I told was my mother. She broke down with tears of joy to hear that her years of prayer for me to be saved had finally been answered. Now, I travel the world, not searching for artifacts and scientific discoveries, of course, but rather spreading the wonderful news of Jesus Christ. I hope you've enjoyed hearing my story as much as I've enjoyed telling it. If you've not yet received the cure for this disease, I beg of you, go to God for this cure. He would love to come into your heart and save you from this disease today. Well, I must be going now. I have many more people to tell of this cure. Ta-ta! Until we meet again.